We're heading to shipwreck. Mini going with the signature Taros jellyfish. Of course, gonna stick with Queen Nye. And here we go. Mini this vessel. is winners finals. Yes, on shipwreck. No fancy Three, islands or platforms two, to mess with one, when it comes to gadgets four. here. Just a flat stage. Jellyfish immediately open it up with that side stick. Mini finds the side line, the side air, and immediately gets some damage on the jellyfish. Finds another side air, and he's putting a decent amount of damage on this Queen Nye. A third side air. It has not been hit yet, but there's the neutral light. Tries to follow it up with a down air. Jellyfish tries to do some anti air with a weapon toss, but instead gets punished by a side light. Mini Vest is doing his best to get as much damage in on Jellyfish as possible. More down airs coming out. Side light after side light, but Jellyfish finds the guitars and finally gets a nice string in. Goes for a weapon toss to a down air and lands with the neutral air. Yeah. I think that, I think Shipwreck was actually a really Oh, the down air into the bomb. That was beautiful. But what about Shipwreck? But yeah, I think this is a really good stage pick by Mini. After seeing Jellyfish play against this guy as a scrub, you have to be thinking, this guy's really good with setups and Ooh. stuff. Ooh, I guess that really recovery. early kill by Mini. Yeah, being able to take advantage of Queen Nye being on the side of the stage and actually winning it out on the offstage game with the hammer, hits him with the neutral light, and Jellyfish is trying to get with the D-Light, but Mini is doing a great job with the axe right now. Jellyfish struggling to find a kill on Mini, who's actually taken the lead. Ooh, hits that Axe Cider oh, wow. into the bomb, and Jellyfish is just taking so much damage. Another Cider sends him into the orange. Mini hits it down here. That's the stock. Mini takes a two stock I mean, lead over Jellyfish right now with his tariffs. He's gotten his dinner. He's feeling fueled and energized. And <laughs> apparently, doing quite a bit of work against Jellyfish's Queen Nye. Taros jumps over the down sig, hits him with the down air, puts some more damage on him, a side air to punish that down sig once again, but Jellyfish is ready to push him off the side of the stage, catches the guitars, goes for a side air, gets hit by the weapon and forced below the stage, the mine hits again, Jellyfish dies! Three stocked by Mini Vesson. Wow. I mean... Wow. I didn't expect that at all. So... Jellyfish clearly That's... not feeling comfortable with Queen Nye against Mini Vessence Tariffs. Tariffs having to pick, uh. Pick his. Or oh, Mini Vessence yeah. has to pick his legend first, but that was, uh. That was kind of brutal. Especially coming it's from a name that we just met. Story. Um, I just looked Mini Vessence up on ranked because I was curious, and he, he is Diamond. So he is he's a top 200 player in the world right now. So. Still, not not really a tournament player from what I've ever seen. And I'm very surprised to see him just three stock Jelly. That doesn't happen. Yeah, I feel like maybe Jellyfish wasn't feeling himself or underestimating his opponent. I mean, obviously, after we saw the talk in chat, he, I feel like he wasn't taking it as seriously as he should have been. But there it is. Mini finds the first weapon against the sidelight, and Jellyfish immediately going in with the unarmed combo. Goes below, below Thunderguard, hits him with the recovery, finds the weapons, the guitars, and hits him with the sidelight. So far, Jelly doing a bit better. At least he's finding the early damage. He's going with the downer. Does the weapon toss to be able to fault the fact that he missed that downer. Gets a nice unarmed attack to loses out on the axe. Goes for the down heavy. Doesn't quite work out. Ooh, the mine left on the stage, but just punts him with the sidelight. Jellyfish is forced to go beneath the stage once again. Mini tries to follow him with the ground pound, but Jellyfish recovers through the center. Jellyfish holds onto the sword, gets hit by the recovery. The hammer's in hand, goes for the side air, but Jellyfish punches the sidelight. There's a GC neutral oh. sig. That's probably the stock. Jellyfish is going to have to go all the way back, uses all the jumps, his recovery gone, but he doesn't go for the ground pound. Instead, does it down air, recovers, and Jellyfish makes it back despite a devastating neutral sig connection. But that's the ground pound. <gasps> Wow. Oh no! That was such an easy thing to just dodge out of the way of, but Jellyfish must have thought he was gonna go cancel for, it. Cancel or go for the wall or something. Either way, Mini ends up taking that stock and he recovers, gets past Jellyfish's neutral sig attempt, and actually gets a scoop in a neutral the neutral The neutral light! Mini is doing a ton of damage to Jellyfish right now. Mi yeah, Mini is just taking control of this game. He dies there, but he does still have the damage lead. Jelly is already almost in orange and very deep yellow right now. He on the of the axe. Goes in for that downer. Jellyfish, ooh, gets hit by that side light. Goes in for the downer, however, gets a nice string with the side light, but just takes it a little bit too far, and poof, both players waiting on the ledge patiently for either one to do something, and Jellyfish does the first move. Mini, however, hits him with a side air. Jellyfish is running low on jumps, but gets back on the stage. Is this the stock? <gasps> That's the stock. Oh my goodness. Jellyfish oh. capitalizing on that offstage, knowing that the guitars are so great offstage and carrying him with down airs and side airs. Mini Vesson loses his lead, and Jellyfish gains it.
You cannot mess around against Kataras off stage, or that will happen every time. Those are just so deadly off stage. You gotta respect it. Ooh, Manny goes for another oh, ground pound and actually gets the recovery. Jellyfish, however, recovers high and he's off stage once again. Jellyfish hits his head. Oh, That's he the killed stock. himself. He killed himself trying to do end mini stock wow. early on, and it evens up one to one. Jellyfish going a little bit too ham off stage that time, and Mini makes it back. He did manage to turn the game around, though. He has the advantage here. And he really needs that advantage because he doesn't want to get knocked out this fast. He finds the bomb toss, already putting Mini into deep orange. It's looking a lot better than the last time. Ooh, Jellyfish goes for a fully charged side sig. Doesn't connect, but still scares Mini into staying below the stage. D-Light Cider, Jellyfish goes for the Haymaker. Down airs to get to the bottom of the stage. Tosses the bomb off, and the, ooh, the spike ball in the recovery actually connects. Tries to end up with the rec recovery from the guitars. The side sig, Mini Vesson gets some kind of damage, and Jellyfish is just trying to end the stock as soon as possible, and it's actually kind of punishing him. He finds two side airs in the face. Ooh, finds his neutral air. Yeah, it looks like... Oh, man. That's it. Wow. Jellyfish got the momentum after that Qatar Gimp and just ran away with it so quickly. You could see that his confidence really just came back after now, hitting that. And then a series of high decks allowing him to do more of those offstage combos in comparison to someone like Queen Nine who's got exceptionally low dexterity uh, made it a lot more comfortable, I feel like, for him to be able to play offstage like that. For sure. Kind of surprised to see Jellyfish banning Twilight. I feel like that would be a map he wants to on, but... I just don't think he wants yeah, to mess with any, any tarot signatures on that Twilight Island, honestly. Fair. So he's going to um, stick with a Surrey. Many of us are probably going to stick with Taros. Uh, we're one and one. This is a best of five for those who don't remember. This is winner's finals. Oh, I even so. didn't remember. Thank you for reminding me. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. It's a little bit early for winner's finals. His dinner power ran out. Yeah, that's it. He burned through it. Cody's here. Looks Cody like has arrived to Mammoth. in time for his Losers Quarters match. Mini Vested versus Jellyfish Winners Finals continues on the Mammoth Fortress. So here we go to game three. three two, one, and we're essentially... At the start of a best of three now. Jelly finding the early sword damage on the mini. Finding some unarmed damage to follow it up too. Yeah, I think Jellyfish is suddenly taking this a lot more seriously as he realized that Mini Vesson is actually capable of beating him. Also switching up Seems the legend. Ooh, wow, oh, catch him by the jumps, that's it. No. Mini. <laughs> Mini making wow, sure Mini to put the yeah. nail on the coffin there. He definitely didn't need to do that ground pound, but regardless, confirmed that Jellyfish lost his stock, but that recovery after Jellyfish already used all of his jumps trying to give to Mini off stage was devastating. That was a really good uh, kill for Mini, but Jellyfish is ruthless, looking for a kill of his own now. Mini is already in deep red, but I don't think Mini is about to fall for one of these uh, obvious signatures. No, definitely not. He's gonna have to be killed by some side airs. This one, another side air will definitely do. Who goes for a recovery that would have actually worked if Mini Vesson was a little bit earlier with his recovery. Both players tossing the weapons into each other's face, but there's the down air into Jellyfish. Jellyfish taking more damage than he should on the stocks. Mini goes for a side air, a ground pound. Jellyfish has a lot of moves in his arsenal to end the stock, and there it is, side air. Jelly does take a bit of damage, but. Still a pretty close game. Anyone's game. Jelly looking for some Qatar combos, but they're not quite working out. Mini holding onto the axe. The mine is in the center of the stage. I feel like Mini's trying to get a side air on Jellyfish into that mine to be able to send him into the deep orange. Ooh, tosses the axe aside, finds the hammer, dodges in place, but... It, wow, Jellyfish goes in with some insane downer strings. Wow, bring him oh, into the orange. Crap. And a side stick to try to end it. Jellyfish... It's hit that by a hammer insane. toss, but Mini has gotten no mileage off this past minute with his weapons. Goes for the recovery, tries to get the bomb, he's got it in hand, wow, nearly skims the top of Jellyfish's head, but doesn't quite connect, and Mini has the axe once again. Goes for neutral sig, gets punished by a side air, Jellyfish hit by a down air, and a weapon toss in the recovery to do quite a bit of damage to Taros. Jellyfish is going ham right now. Oh, that side sig almost connecting. 
but it is still an equal game. Both players in red right now. Mini with just a little bit more damage. That down throw into recovery. Wow. With the spiky ball. Yeah. Holy moly. Pretty good. He was able to uh, make that into a night. I mean, Jellyfish's gadget play we've already seen against Scrub was quite good. But being able to use that into a recovery combo instead of a weapon, pretty phenomenal. Mini goes for two ground pounds in a row, neither of them connecting. That one nearly coming up close, and Jellyfish is willing to take this risk off stage with him right now. There's another ground pound. He gets, this, he gets the recovery. That should be Jellyfish's stock. Yes. Uh, yeah, he was playing around a little bit too much, I think, down there. He got a little too predictable. Ooh, Mini man. took advantage of it. Mini tries to go for he a side. He did get a bit of damage, though. Yes, he did indeed. Jellyfish, ooh, going off stage, goes for recovery. Mini getting that recovery on the way back. As the horn calls it in, tries to go for an unarmed combo, gets the hammer, doesn't quite connect with the scoop, and punishes Jellyfish for going for a side sig there. Rolls under the hammer, side light, goes for the scoop, doesn't work out. Another scoop, misses. Jellyfish gets the unarmed combo, goes for that sliding D light. Hits up with the side air, hammer. Getting no mileage, Jellyfish is winning out on this trade. Jellyfish does have the advantage here, but it's quickly gonna go the other way. The second mini hits one more hit, both players are very close to their kill percents, but that side air looks like it might finish. This is a big edge guard, and he finds the ground pound. That's the kill. Jellyfish gets the kill. Game two. It's the game. Yes. It's game two and is one step closer to winning this best of five and moving on to the finals. That was game finals. three. Well, win two. That's second game three, win. second yeah. win, yes. All right. All admins are mods, but not all mods are admins. Three, two, so we're heading to one, Blackguard four. Keep. Sticking to the characters. Jelly finds the early weapon. Vessen playing around with on right now. Ooh, Jellyfish tearing him off the side of the stage. Goes for a side stick. Ooh, Mini Vessen tries to get a ground pound. Another ground pound attempt, and that might be his stock. Jellyfish carried him below wow. the stage very quickly. I understand that he's willing to take that those was risks. 18 second stock. <laughs> I understand Mini's trying to take those risks with the unarmed ground pound to try to punish Jellyfish for playing off stage, but there's a reason why Jellyfish is playing off stage. He's a Surrey, he has guitars, and he knows what he's doing with them. And he showed Mini Vessen exactly that. Mini Vessen gets that neutral light. Jellyfish trying to go in with the down airs, gets hit by a side air, and actually he's taking a decent amount of damage from Mini Vessen's axe right now. Hits him with that side air once again, tries to get a third side air, down air, misses. Mini Vessen not finding any strings with the axe, has the hammer, and gets hit by a neutral air from the guitars. Jelly just juggling both those weapons. He's He's got such a nice advantage right now, and he's just baiting. He wants him to ground pound. Like, he, oh no. Oh, jeez, the guitar throw in a ground pound just destroys Mini Vessen. And this game's looking a lot like the first game that Mini Vessen took against Jellyfish. Wow. The series started off with a three stock by Mini, and suddenly he's getting godied. Is he More about to ground pounds, another down. Oh, no. Yep, that's it. <gasps> no. Wow, the GC Disco to end it. All right, all right, Jellyfish. That's like, I, I know you played at the start of Gravy Cancel, and I know you knew how much we like those discos, so I that's, that's just like so many gravy points for you. Congratulations, Jellyfish.